China's biggest political event wrapped up earlier this week and it elevated President Xi Jinping to the level of its first communist leader, Chairman Mao, and uh, also revealed its new leadership, who are all in their 60s. President Xi's political thought on Beijing's supposed new era uh, will now be taught as official party doctrine. Our Kim mo -gan with the details. As its National Congress closed on Tuesday, the Communist Party of China amended its constitution to enshrine President Xi's political ideas. Putting President Xi Jinping's name into the constitution means that anyone who challenges him could now be seen as a threat to Communist Party rule. It also cements Xi's power ahead of the second five-year term and could give him added impetus to dictate the country's direction for the years that follow. We have just held the first plenary session of the 19th CPC Central Committee and elected a new central leadership. I was re-elected General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee. I see this as not just approval of my work, but also encouragement that will spur me on. The constitutional change has put President Xi on par with Mao Zedong, who founded modern China in 1949, and Deng Xiaoping, who oversaw China's opening up to the world. The slogan Xi Jinping's thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics for the new era is the party's way of saying that this is the third chapter of communist China, which highlights the leadership's role in party discipline, putting people at the center of policies and deepening reforms to the rule of law. On Wednesday, President Xi also announced the committee's incoming members who will work alongside him and Premier Li Keqiang for the next five years. In order of seniority, there are Li Jian Su, the director of Communist Party's Central General Office, Vice Premier Wang Yang, President Xi's policy advisor Wang Hu Ning, head of the Communist Party's organization department Zhao La Ji, and Shanghai Party Secretary Han Jiang. Regarding China's future policies towards South Korea, pundits say with a new top decision making body, there could be possibilities for a brighter future in Seoul Beijing relations. During the party's National Congress period, China has been stressing the importance of cooperation in pursuing improved international relations. So I think Seoul should deal with the current problems of China by holding thorough discussions on how to make both sides benefit without hurting either side's national interest. The New Look Committee is expected to hold its first general meeting on Thursday and discuss the new leadership's major tasks. They will also begin personal changes across various departments before the National People's Congress set for March next year. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.